Typically, Cape Town winters aren't as perfect as today is, but the sun is out, and that means John Williams and I have got convertible cars to play with. In the secondary market, there's so much in terms of choice available to you as a buyer. And John and I have gone with two of our favorites. John, obviously from Driving Force, a magnificent species in the form of an E400 there, and this, my pride and joy. I, John, I can't begin to tell you what an SL fan I am. Next year will mark 70 years that the SL's been in existence. First in 1954, and next year, a very special year. But this, this is a 2012 model, and this has possibly been one of the best cars that I've ever got from World Stock. Uh, and at the price that yeah. this thing's going for, what more would you want? I want to take this home. <laughs> I've asked my wife if we can refinance our house. Maybe get rid of a kid. We've got two. Yeah. Uh, we, we can maybe, you know, if anyone is looking for a, a very, very aging, very clever six year old. No, I would never part with my kids, but this really is a menacing vehicle. It's the SL500. John, talk to me about what you've got there yeah, behind you. So I've got the E400. You know, sometimes it's not all about speed and pace. This is more luxury. It's more of a comfortable car. And again, like we speak about, you know, the second hand car market at the moment is, uh, I think, coming alive almost because you buy these cars with all the bells and whistles Absolutely. in them for very little. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of car for under a million rand, you know. I mean, it's hard to find cars under a million rand these days. Talk about comfort with the, with the top down. There are very few cars that offer the amount of, um, and I mean, you know, comfort with the top down. Top down driving isn't for the faint hearted. It's nothing pleasant about putting a top down and driving. The wind's in your hair, the sun and the elements are raw upon you. But with these vehicles, I feel the Mercedes Benz has done it really properly yeah. with their convertibles. Yeah, they've always been very good at it. I mean, actually it's quite interesting because you know, I always like to bring the racing element in. You know that SL stands for Sport Light. Wow. Sport Licht in Look German. At you. Yeah. So, JW stands for uh, Jolly Willy. Exactly. So, you know, that's a nice element. No, surprise um, <laughs> that you threw in there <laughs> but generally yeah it derived from the 300 SL and this is uh, is that the gull wing from the 1950s yeah yeah so um, what had happened was the Germans saw the Jag flying around and they thought sure if with their reliable engine if they built a lightweight chassis and car they would win and this is where the sports light uh, which I never knew um, until last night but what's nice is you know I've got a four four seater you've yeah. got a two seater yeah. So this maybe we knows. need to swap with this the kids. Is no chance. I love this vehicle. Let me tell you what I love about it. Besides, it's obviously, it's got a very menacing stance. It almost yeah. looks like it's busy without even having to move much. This vehicle is, I mean, again, I can wax lyrical. They're not yeah. giving me this car, but this is a Hups. 899,000 Rand, John. It's got 50,000 yeah. on the clock. It's got every single bell and whistle inside there. It's got over 300 kilowatts of power and it's so comfortable. Yeah, and you know what you, you speak about is so true because it's timeless. Yep. These cars are becoming the modern day classics, which is, which is see a lot more of the guys buying them. And you get them with low mileage, with, I mean, this thing's immaculate. I mean, I, what I like is they come with performance brakes, so they stop and they, yeah, they look classy, they're comfortable to drive, perfect on a day like today. That's all around, it suits you, Ryan. I, I think it really suits you. And this from car. this model, just prior to this, this being the R231, but from the 230 onwards, they started introducing the hard top. So this came out initially with a soft top. Yeah. The hard tops now then obviously became available for this vehicle. The hard top was an added extra that they used to buy separately and put on, yeah. like the very old SLs of yes. the 80s. Yeah, clip from off. Dallas. JR yeah. Ewing, you drive around in your big SL and be like, hey, <laughs> clip on the hard top, buddy. I need help putting it on. This has a built-in hardtop. Obviously, it retracts and it's retracted at the moment. So when the hardtop is up, it feels like a normal sedan. Or and I actually like that. I like the hardtop look. This yeah. has got the soft top look, which is different, but it's nice that they have both elements. But I, I do like the sportier hardtop looking. Not a bad performer, this E400. No, it drives really nicely. I mean, I drove through this morning in peak hour traffic. It's comfortable. It, it's just like it's like a big lazy boy. You know, it's yeah. like driving a big couch. You know, Mercedes do it well. They do it very classy. They're very, very meticulous with their products. And I mean, if you look at the detail inside, I mean, it's got everything, seat warmers. Yeah. It's got the lovely little air, hot air that blows around the back of your neck, which I love in this chilly winter morning. So yeah, they've thought everything through. Absolutely. In a world where modern technology means your car thinking for you, keeping you in the lane, telling you when traffic passing by you, reminding you of everything. Mm. Have you taken your pills? Have you taken your coffee? <laughs> Have you picked up the kids? Have you done your washing? Have you done your ironing? Mercedes-Benz in 2012 was a great year. A car that doesn't have to beep every single time you get in it to remind you of something that you've done wrong. I get enough of that at home. If you're looking for a great car, you're looking for a second-hand market vehicle, you've got two, two and you're spoiled for choice, two great uh, products available here from the, the three-star ma marquee, synonymous for German engineering at its finest. And importantly, what a bargain under a million rand. Can you name one thing that's going to beat that in terms of comfort, in terms of spec for under a million rand? Leave your comments down below. Importantly, like and subscribe. And John and I will be back with more great content next week. Okay, we're going to do a Lamar start. What's we the have Lamar to. Start? Lamar Between start. No, so you start on the other uh, side of the track. We've got to always bring the racing element in. push. 
We're getting in the car. See who puts the props out the quickest. Mm. Racing element always okay, going to be put in. Are you ready? You want to head start? This stop. Yeah, that's oh, Okay, ready to go. Okay. Go, 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 go! Oh. Yes! Come go, on! Go, 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 go. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, yes! No, 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 no! no. Yes, P1, baby! Ha, 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 Yawn. Yawn. Look. Yawn. I may be fat, but I'm fast. Listen, I clearly have extra seats in the back. Took a little time to wind up those back windows. I can't wait to star in my own movie called Fat and Furious. It's me when I'm not getting food. The Fat and the Furious. And what am I now? Slim and slow. The slim and slow. Ladies and gents, the E400 driving force, the SL500 from Millstock. It's a no-brainer.